Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to do pageable hard key macros for your ETC console. So if we look here on my ETC Geo, we have eight hard key macros, 801 through 808. On other consoles like EOS TI, there are 20. Um, some other consoles have different configurations, uh, but uh, we, right now we have eight of these, uh, but it, what if we want more? Well, we can page through them. And to do that, I'm gonna press macro 801 here, and you're gonna see all of them turn green. That is indicating to me that that is my second page of macros. Press 801 again, my red page, my yellow page, my light green page, my light red page, and back to my full white page. So, how do we do this? Well, 801 is right now assigned to copy um, basically macros 801 through 830 off to another area at the same time copy uh, for example 831 through 860 back onto 801 so it's just copying around macros pay, uh, different places and if we look on the main screen right now we can go to macro 801 and we can see exactly what it does. It copies macro 801 to 830 to 1801, basically just a storage location, and then 1831 through 1860 copies back to 801, and that's our second page. And if you look here, you can see I have my first page assigned to be all snapshots, and we can page through these and look. Um, these are all the other ones as well because they still get stored here but they also get stored in 1801 um, just as a temporary storage location. The great thing about this is that I can le still learn macros to where I'd expect to. So I can learn macro 801, 802, sorry. I can learn macro 802, learn macro 802, and it exists, whatever. And then let's just have this put uh, 101 through 140 at full. Uh, 104 at full, that's fine. Um, and let's stop learning that macro. The sneak enter, and you can see that once the sneak is done, you can see that it put it at full again. Now, we can go through our pageable macros and click 802 again, and it remembered 802 because we learned it to a place that was just being copied off elsewhere Basically, your work is saved. The way the macro programming works is I have used the full colors that are available to me. All of these uh, face panel buttons can be either red, green, or white, um, or, or dimmed white. And so you have those color combinations to do. So I made uh, red, I made green, yellow. Uh, light, uh, light red and light green. I could also make light yellow if I wanted to, but uh, that was enough pages for me. Um, the last thing I want to point out is that this also affects your other macros. Uh, for instance, uh, EOS TI has these keys right here, are hard key macros as well. And then almost every ETC console now has these, this blank button in the middle here. This is macro 821. It's automatically assigned by the console to be something. And for me, I think for instance, it's fan center. So if I select uh, 101 through 140 and I can just hit fan center and then I have my fan center right now, right there. That's an easy way for me to do that. The file is linked in the description. You don't need to do any of the programming yourself. Uh, you can see all of it there. But again, uh, it's just copying macros off to one place and then recopying them over to 801 through 830. And as long as you don't touch those ranges, I believe the range is 801 to like 950, uh, you'll be fine and you won't break the coding. But if you break the you'll break the coding by uh, learning something to macro 801 and it just simply won't work. Um, but luckily, there will always be a version saved in like 1801 or 1831 yada yada so far and uh, so on and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching.